<laughs> All right, we'll turn it over to you, Nicole. Hi, everybody. Hi. Welcome. I'm so excited for today because we found people that match our energy, which is really <laughs> great, too. I think the guy that you're about to meet has just as much energy as Liz and I put together, which is super exciting. This is Unrestricted Hotness, which is a fam from afar show. <laughs> um, and it is us, Liz and I, just visiting cool places in the world, looking for maybe a destination for a family reunion year, next year, maybe just another event, and to show you a different side of destinations like you've never seen before. So if you've joined us and you think that we're going to go see ballrooms and hear about normal meeting things, you are wrong. This is the fun side of it. And so we can't wait to show you everything that Switzerland has. And I'm ah, just so excited. So this is my counterpart, Liz, who is equally amazing. And we are ready for today. We are so ready for today. And Nicole, I see that your background is that big giant fork. And I cannot wait to find out why there is a big giant fork in the middle of the lake. I've heard of a fork in the road, but never a fork in the lake. So I'm very excited to find out what this is. Also something about a cheese bath. And I don't know what that means, but I'm in. Um, so this is going to be stunning. Like Nicole said, we are supposed to be site visiting right now for our Hot Dokimazo secret family reunion and where we're going to go in November 2021. But we are not allowed to be on airplanes and go out of our country. So we are doing it virtually, and we thought we would bring you along for the ride. Without further ado, I would love to introduce Renato, who is going to give us an incredible overview of what's going to happen today. Renato. <laughs> hello, everyone. No, I'm, not, I'm not good on yodeling, but uh, hello, everyone from all over the world. It's a great privilege to welcome you here today to Switzerland. My name is Renato and despite uh, I have Italian roots and despite I have a white skin like mozzarella, I'm actually 100% Swiss and very proud to be Swiss. Today we are going to show you a little bit uh, of, uh, I mean, uh, just a little bit of what Switzerland uh, is all about, but on a different way actually. I've been working for Ovation Global DMC and had, I'm head of Ovation Switzerland since the last 24 years. I was slim with full of air. Look at me now. So if, you're, if, you, if you plan to work on the DMC, maybe this is not the good plan, but it's a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. Trust me. Well, without, uh, um, I don't know if you know Switzerland, maybe we can uh, pull up a map so I can show you a little bit uh, where we're going to go during our trip today. And of course, uh, Switzerland has uh, four official languages that you can see on screen. These are actually the way we greet our guests. Grüezi, which is Swiss German, bonjour, which is French, of course, and ciao from the Italian-speaking part of Switzerland, and allegra. Allegra is actually a mix, is a, is a very traditional and very specific dialect that is only spoken by 2% of the population in Switzerland, but is actually the fourth official language of Switzerland. And we do also have a fifth language, which is English, because when we do not understand each other, we use English to, to, to speak. And, the, and this is exactly the map. So we are going to go a little bit around between the German speaking part, the French speaking part. We'll go up to the mountain by the lake. We will visit very cool places, meet very nice people. So I think that uh, that's the, the time to start. And uh, welcome to Lake Lucerne. Sergio, are you there? I think so. Yes. He should be there somewhere up in the mountain. Sergio. 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 Looking Sergio. For Sergio. Paging Sergio. Well, so it's the video. <laughs> <laughs> Technician, uh, yeah. If you want, I can start. I can I keep it, I you yodeling. No. Oh, hold Great. on. <laughs> <laughs> Live, people. <laughs> okay. I think we have Sergio. I do have Sergio. I'm working on it. Oh, it's there. Okay. I found Sergio. Go. Maybe Sergio. Oh, we have a. Are we seeing? Sergio's nope. gone. Your desktop. Sergio does not want to talk to us today. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't want to talk to us he does today. Not. Well, Sergio's having problems. Hi guys. Here we go. Yeah. Lake Lucerne region. Sorry, Sergio. Uh, My name is Sergio. I'm the head of the local CVB, and I'd like to give you a quick insight of what you can do today. 
uh, in the background you can actually see uh, one of um, our great inventions that we have in our area. It's the only one in the world. It's a double-decker open-air cable car. Um, as you can see, there's two levels, so you can actually stand on top on, in the fresh air and you can feel like you're flying over the area. So that's one of the very, very unique things um, that you can do here. Now, if we look down on this great panorama, uh, you can see the city of Lucerne in the background. Um, it's a beautiful town, quite small, with 250,000 inhabitants. Um, it's great for sightseeing, shopping. Um, there's lots of little alleyways that you can go explore. It's medieval from the 13th century. And there's lots of very unique uh, locations for gala dinners and so on. And so this certainly is a great um, kind of hub location for your incentives or meetings. And you can see uh, Lake Lucerne. And as you can see, it's actually more of a fjord that kind of goes into the mountains. So it makes it really unique to be on a cruise on that lake because you're always surrounded by the Swiss Alps. Um, we have the largest inland navigation fleet in Europe on Lake Lucerne. Um, there's plenty of boats in any size, anywhere from 40 people up to 1,100 people. Um, so any group size you have, you will be able to find a boat that can accommodate it. Um, you can rent them exclusive, you can have dinner parties on there, you can have um, lunch cruises, whatever fits your program. And then you obviously can combine it with all the different mountains, such as Mount Stanzenhorn, where we are right now. You can see Mount Rigi over there uh, in the sun still. Um, if you look on the left-hand side, Mount Pilatus is a bit shy today, so it's covered um, by the clouds, but certainly boosts great views as well. You can hear the Alcorn again in the background. By the way, this is the Swiss welcome that we do on mountains, um, so you can have that for your group as well. And um, you can also have your participants try it out themselves. It's not that easy, so I'm not going to embarrass myself by doing it, but you can have your um, clients try it and see if they can get a tone out of that wooden horn. Now, here we have the big terrace. Sadly, it's a bit cloudy at the moment. Usually, you have a great um, alpine panorama here. And then we have the Ronrama, which is a re revolving restaurant. So it turns, goes around 360 degrees. Um, and you can rent all of this exclusive in the evenings. So once the gondola shuts down for the public, you can come up here with your group and you'll be the only ones on top of the mountain. So you can really rent your own mountain. And I think that certainly puts a wow factor into every program. Okay, so this was just a very quick intro to um, show you a bit what we can do. Um, if once, once we are free to travel again, please come by, say hi. Um, I'll be happy to show you all around and now enjoy the rest of your trip through Switzerland. Thank you, Sergio. Thank you, thank you. And actually, actually, what Sergio didn't say that Lucerne is actually the cradle of Switzerland. This is where everything started. But from the cradle of Switzerland, we are moving to another very, very specific place. And I think we have a very special ambassador for you, uh, Yannick. You're mute, Yannick, unmute yourself. You're muted. Hi, Yannick. Hello, do you hear me? Yes. yes. No, so it works. Okay. Yes, hi. Hello, hello. Welcome to Gruyere. Hello, hello. welcome to Gruyere, everyone. So Gruyere with the cheese. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah, you're going you're gonna to see everything. The village, the cheese, our marvelous product. So Look at welcome to Gruyere. Uh, Gruyere is in the, count, is it the county of Fribourg. So it's a... Uh, not very far from Lausanne, just in the in the Alps. That's where the Alps start, actually. And then we have this beautiful, beautiful um, medieval village. That's why people come here. Uh, it's for the products we make. So double cream, the fondue, that's what you're going to see in a few minutes. And of course, for the amazing setting, look at this village. It's, it was built 1,000 years ago, so it's still like it was before. And this is our house. So it's uh, the only restaurant in Gruyere where we produce cheese. So I'm going to show you this in a, in a second. We have a cheese tank here on the ground floor. So we make cheese almost every day. Liz, that's your this, bathtub. There it is. I'm getting in. Yeah. He's back. <laughs> looks, like a looks like a bathtub, <laughs> bathtub right? You see this amazing oh, that place? Oh, away so, the curds, right? Yeah, true. That's the cheeses we made this morning. Look at those. Oh. They are here in the cylinders. We made 10 
this morning. Wow. Then Vacherin. So we make two types of cheese, Vacherin and Gruyère. So Gruyère is the name of the village. Of course, it's the name of the cheese as well, which you all know. And with this machine here, we also make the double cream. Double cream, we use it uh, in many different dishes, but also, of course, for desserts. Then I'm going this to is go. actually where cholesterol leaves, because this is, I mean, it's a, that's, it's a perfect place. <laughs> that's this is exactly a right. Place for cholesterol. But yeah, cholesterol, 53%, right? 53% of fat, but this, we don't talk about it. No, no, no. We only, no, we only no. talk about the pleasure. <laughs> no calories, no cholesterol, no, I, I, and, and you know, I mean, we have, we are surrounded by so oh many goodness. mountains, so we go up and down, so we burn, we burn calories, no problem. <laughs> of course, but that's, yeah. that's a place where you walk, we, it's, it's the perfect, perfect spot for sport. So people go around, walk in the mountains, look at those mountains here. Breathtaking. So wow. this is just the other side of the house, so you saw the village with the, with the old stones and the, and the different houses. Now we are going inside the garden. So that's our garden terrace. Perfect for groups as, uh, as well. Uh, we can accommodate up to 200 people. So um, we have white spaces. And this is what we offer on a Whoa! daily basis Ooh! here in Greece. So look at this amazing dish. That's, that's the melted cheese. That's our fondue. So it's Vacherin and Gruyère. So the two types of cheese we make melted together uh, in oh. this amazing dish. Here you have the double cream and, of course, the meringue. Oh, and see, oh little God. Swiss flags. Mm -hmm. and the, an, an, important, an important thing that you have to know is that you, if you lose, look, look at that. Look oh. at how oh. tasty. Oh, my muffin topper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but once if you if you eating yeah. if you eating the cheese fondue and you lose your piece of bread inside the pan, well, there are three things that you can do. Correct, Yannick? Yeah, true, true, true. You just you to, you just put the whole thing in your mouth and find the bread later, right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Tell us, tell us, Renato. You have, to, you have to kiss everyone in the restaurant. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> or. You have to buy wine for your table until the end of the, the meal, or you pay True. the final bill. So it's up to True. you to decide. <laughs> exactly, exactly the same wow. thing. So now, now I'm, I'm, with my, I'm with my manager, Christophe, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to try not to lose any piece of bread. <laughs> Hi, of Christophe, course. you're cute yeah. too. It is bonjour. Yeah. Hello, so he, Christophe says hello. So we're going to taste the fondue for you. Oh, Just have you. a look. So that's where we stir bread inside the fondue look at oh, that oh my teasing dream oh, yeah uh, there's no joke with fondue huh? it's that's oh. how it happens so look at that so, oh my god yeah oh. in the mouth oh. terrible. 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 i'm in terrible uh, is it good oh. is it good tell me it's good <laughs> wow just the best mm. amazing so, of course, can you show us the view real quick wait from the outside the balcony and, and, and an additional information is that uh, Gruyere is actually on top of Gruyere. You have a castle, a beautiful medieval castle that oh, you wow. can visit prior. Look to at enjoy. the castle is here. Castle is there at the back. Oh wow! You can see it at the Easy back. Castles. <laughs> yeah, the, the, true. The second most That's the beautiful thing about valley table is uh, the wine. What kind of wine do you have at your table? So we have the Domaine de Faverge. Of course, it's a white wine from the county of Fribourg. Uh -huh. so it's a Chasselas. It's one of the wines we uh, propose the most. Because, of course, um, we have beautiful wines from all over Switzerland. But this one is really from the region. And people love to eat food and, of course, the wine that come from this county here. So this, this one is, is just marvelous. So you have to taste and it together with the, with the cheese. Yes, so and we'll see a little bit later. We will have uh, someone who is... Uh, give us a little bit more information about Chasla. We will be right in the middle of the vineyards. And yeah. uh, this is someone that was shipping wine, Swiss wine as well. But this is uh, something that we need to discuss later on. Thank you so much. Uh, thank, you thank you very you much for being with us in Goya. Incredible. Okay, so you're here anytime. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> well, moving now from uh, uphill, where cholesterol leaves, where cheese and cream and so on. And now we are running down, we are doing some workouts, some sports, because we need to reach Lausanne, the Olympic capital, where 
the International Olympic Committee had a, is a headquarter, and there I think we have uh, Ode and Demi, if I'm not mistaken. Oh boy, Ode. the Olympics! Yeah! Ode, Demi, are you there? When were the Hello. Olympics here? Yeah. Can you hear us? I hear yes. you. Hello. <laughs> nice to talk to you. I'm all the partner of Foundation. Uh, welcome to Lausanne, the um, Olympic capital. Why Olympic capital? Because the IOC, the International Olympic Committee, has been established here for over 100 years now. Here, I was just trying uh, to run as fast as Usain Bolt. You can compete, compete against him. Obviously, I didn't make it. But um, we are here um, on the Olympic Museum Esplanade. It's, uh, the Olympic Museum is our most unique uh, event venue, but also unique museum here in Lausanne. Uh, the, the view is quite unique as well with Lake Geneva and, and the Alps. And actually, we can privatize you the whole for your event. It's a very uh, high quality product. It's where the IOC will welcome its guests, so presidents, for example. And just um, a few ideas of what you can do here. Look at this. Uh, this is the, the entrance of the museum. You can have actually your cocktail right here by the entrance with a red carpet, burning torches. Can you, can you imagine? Or um, maybe for a very special team building, you can invite a former athlete and he will talk about his Olympic experiences. He can initiate you to his sport. So it can be uh, quite emotional. And just so you know, you don't have to be into sports to enjoy um, the Olympic Museum. Uh, it's mostly about Olympic values, which are uh, respect, friendship, excellence, where uh, we are all concerned, uh, I must say. And well, do you know what this this is? No, no what? It's a perfect spot for your Olympic souvenir. That's the torch. It's the Olympic flame. Wow. Burning uh, every day, 365 days a year uh, here in Lausanne. So the only Olympic museum in the world and the only uh, ever burning Olympic flame. Wow. And, um, well, I have to say that in Lausanne, the, the, the flame also burns metaphorically. Um, I mean, there is this very dynamic at atmosphere where a quarter of the inhabitants are students. Uh, we've been voted best small city in the world, um, just so, so you know it. And uh, the locals will enjoy a stroll by the lake uh, or a swim even afterwards. That's what I might do uh, right after. Um, we go for short hikes to the Lavo UNESCO vineyards, which are only a few minutes away. And um, we always end up uh, having a nice glass of uh, Chasla white wine uh, whenever possible. Uh, by the way, I'm here. My cameraman today is Davy, my boss. And uh, <laughs> Davy, um, what time is it now? Is it uh, at the road? Look, very, very over after time. Very over after time. So we oh. always have a <laughs> uh, bottle hidden somewhere and Me ready too, to share yeah. to share with uh, with people we have here. So yeah, hopefully you're convinced too. And um, Maybe you can visit us before the Los Angeles Olympic Games in 2028 or even before. Hopefully, uh, yeah, that's what we, we, we wish. Wow, thank that's you. Cool. That's so amazing. Wow. <gasps> you, you earned the gold medal, definitely, Oda. You, you truly earned that. Congratulations, <laughs> well done. I, 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 I... <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to cheer uh, to you and... Uh, to this uh, great organization with uh, with Davy and uh, yeah, thank wow. you. Wow, brilliant! Thank you so much. And then I think I'm going to teletransport myself for uh, a little while and uh, just to give me a couple of seconds. And uh, I need to snap your fingers. Poof. Poof. Here we go again, short transfer from lakeside up to the mountain. Welcome to Glacier 3000. We are here 3000 meters above the sea level or 11,000 feet. 
right in the border between the French-speaking part and the German-speaking part of Switzerland. Glacier 3000 is a fantastic place for people who love outdoor activities and adrenaline as well. Here you can enjoy skiing, snowshoeing, dog sledging. You can even organize a golf course on a glacier, but the most fantastic things here, one of the most fantastic things is actually the world highest roller coaster oh my gosh that i will experience Whoa. for you afterward oh i'll be my pants we will be walking up to the first peak to peak suspended bridge stay with us and here i am again so i'm climbing the stairs up to the first suspended bridge peak to peak suspended bridge and behind me you can enjoy the view of the beautiful glacier the glacier has different names. Wow. Glacier 3000, Transfleuron, or Glacier des Diablerets. In French, Diablerets means little devil. And that's why the peak that you see and the far away from me is called the Devil's Peak. Uh -huh. But uh, I'm keeping climbing because uh, I still have a few stairs before <laughs> arriving up to the top. First, Peak to peak suspended bridge. Oh my god, that's terrible. Alps. And look oh god. We have from here. Wow. Beautiful mountain, crystal clear lake. Fantastic wow. panorama for people who want to really enjoy the outdoor spirit and the alpine spirit. Would you do in it, the Nicole? Of the bridge. I mean, do I have to be in shape to do that? Does this thing have an elevator? <laughs> oh. okay. And now I'm going back because we are going to experience the Alpine roller coaster. Oh, get... And here we are, we are getting ready to tobogganing on the world highest roller coaster. I'd like to introduce you to our host, Hi. Felicien. Hi. And uh, are we ready to jump on board? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh my goodness. And here we go. <laughs> Holy crap. Hands up. Whoa. You. Oh my God. A little snow. He actually did it a little Ooh. bit slower than usually, simply because I had my, my driver is very my young, camera, which is so. just <laughs> oh, <God. me>. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Almost there! Yeah. I mean, why would they build a roller coaster there? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Is it true? Live, keşif turu başlamış. Ooh, <laughs> oh, something. Thank you, Felician, for driving me in Real this pleasure. brilliant activity. Oh, what an experience! <laughs> <laughs> well, time for me to leave the glacier and uh, reconnect from the shore of Lake Geneva. Oh good, there is an elevator. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. See, that's a roller coaster I can ride. Oh no. Yeah, <gasps> I could be a gondola. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't, I can't even look right now. <laughs> <laughs> ah, adrenaline, adrenaline, pure adrenaline. Butterflies. I'm going to need to go on that hidden wine hunt first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was oh. amazing. Uh, that that's oh. was a pure adrenaline. And I did it just for you. Oh, thank you, Renato. Absolutely for you. And uh, now I think we all deserve a glass of wine. Yes, because please. Because I think... Uh, the temperature is rising up here, and I think uh, the best way is uh, to sit down, admire the view. And here we have uh, two very specialists, Corinne and Cyril, from Domaine de Dalet. Corinne, are you there? Well, I'm there. 
Can you see me? I can. Hi. It's dark, but I see Hello. you. Hello. Yes, it's dark. It's a very, very dark place. It's a very secret place. We here in a wine cellar. You know that this is the oldest commercial entity in Switzerland. It dates back from the thir- from 1392, and we are here in the Domaine du Dalet with Cyril, the owner of this winery, who will tell us a little bit more about what you see here. Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> Hi. Uh, first of all, welcome to the winery. And uh, let me just present you shortly the place, which is a very old place that has been established in 1392, as Corinne was saying. And here in this cellar, we are in the original cellar where we still make all our traditional white wine. So we make very quality-oriented wines in a traditional way, handmade, uh, quite organic wines. And this cellar is the original one that was built in 1397. So it's a long history place. But the most important maybe is uh, for you to see what is outside because it's a unique region. We are here in the heart of UNESCO. It's a world heritage of UNESCO. And uh, the Lavo region is very specific. Uh, for his steep hillside terraces, and uh, that's why it has been protected, and there's a very beautiful sightseeing too. So I propose you now to move outside. I don't know, I want to start with the wine. Those barrels are where I want to be. (laughs) Look at that. Here it's fresh. Outside is too hot. (laughs) Here is about 15 degrees, it's cool. Outside (laughs) is about 35. (laughs) <laughs> Dangerous for drinking. Okay, well, we'll be out there for a minute, then let's come back in. <laughs> <laughs> so now we go up. So we have also a room that we can uh, use for making special dinners, cocktail. So we can get up to 50 guests maximum with the nice cheminée in winter. And uh, in summer, which is more beautiful even, is the terrace outdoor. Ah! Okay, that's nice. That's, oh. that's the most terrible things that you can see. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Wow. This view is absolutely amazing. This is, for me, the best ever. Oh, seriously. I don't need to speak anymore, right? <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. We're only 10 minutes from Lausanne. We can come here by car, by train, by bike. You know, my husband comes here every weekend. (laughs) He does uh, about a thousand miles a year on his bicycle, and he comes here. You know that during the pandemic, a lot of people were here having picnics, having cocktails, and the police even had to come and close some roads because too many people were gathering and littering in this area. But this Are is you really allowed to like run through one of the wine aisles screaming? Is that acceptable? No, screaming, allowed. screaming Ricola. <laughs> yes, <and> nobody <laughs> will, will arrest you. Don't worry. You can scream throughout the vineyards and nobody will arrest you. Yes. Wow. And this is the place where you can have cocktail reception, even dinner, and as Ode and Devi were starting before, oh, we no. also would like here at the Mandu Dalet to toast with you because it's a special uh, wine. Fresh wine. Fresh. Cheers. 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 So we do uh, wine tasting for really different kind of wines. We have 15 wines that we are producing at the winery. So there's a large range to do tastes, a lot of wine to taste, which is very interesting for the customer. First of all, you have historical place, 620 years old place, making wine here. Uh, we do really make quality wines that we're selling mostly here in good restaurants in Asia. And uh, usually we are full in this season, so it should be about six, seven thousand. Uh, 7,000 people visiting a year the winery and uh, I hope next year we will see you both because we are missing foreigners we are just very Swiss people which is cool but we miss the people from US we miss people from Asia from everywhere and people today we are in this place 
Yeah, so today, so today no you problem. are here and we are happy to welcome you here and we're happy to show you this view again because it's really something special from Montreux Brilliant. all the way there to Geneva all the way there where I think Antoinette is now waiting for you, right? Is actually, I think that actually Antoinette is waving at you from Geneva. You can spot her. Right. Internet. Um, I think uh, she's she's somewhere there waiting. Antoinette, can you hear us? We know that you are somewhere. I don't know what's happening. I can't spotlight her video. She's did we lose her? Did we lose her? Uh, I think we might have lost Internet. Antoinette. Oh, oh no! I she's gone. We lost her. We lost Antoinette. Okay, yeah. we can uh, maybe <laughs> take it. Uh, we lost Antoinette. Maybe, maybe she she was supposed to be on a. She was on, on a, a boat, boat for a moment, and then she disappeared from us. Yeah. <laughs> this is what so, happens uh, when we're live. <laughs> so, my, so, so it's possible. It's possible. Uh, it's absolutely well. No problem at all. In Switzerland, we are flexible, and we know how to move from one spot to the other. So, I think. I mean, Switzerland is a very special place as well. So uh, except, uh, in addition of mountain, chocolate, cheese, uh, banks and watches, there is much <laughs> more. There is much more. We are, we are music lovers. And when we say music lovers, we say Montreux Jazz Festival, which is a worldwide known festival. It's taking place every single year, the first two weeks of July. But we have a specialist there. Karine, are you there for us? Hello, can you hear me? I yes. knew it. Fantastic. Hi. Welcome to Montreux, everyone. I'm happy to welcome you here with my friend Freddie in the background. Freddie, look, look at the view he's sleeping with. Lucky him. Wait, let me move back a bit. So he wakes up to this fantastic view every day. Lucky him. Wow. Do you know why he is here? What is no, the because just down the road there, there is the uh, casino which hosts the mountain, which used to host the mountain studio, where Queen used to play and record uh -huh. some music. Oh. They recorded seven albums here, and Freddie fell in love with the region, so he even lived here for a few years. How incredible is that? And so during the, now the mountain studio is become the Queen studio experience that you can all visit. So you can actually go inside and look at some notes that Freddie took, look at some of his costumes, you can listen to some songs and even remakes them. So if you're a music lover, I would definitely recommend you to visit this place. I also have to share another story about music in the region. As Renato said before, we are hosting every year the Montreux Jazz Festival. And I'm sure there is one song that you all know, but maybe don't know that well after all. And this song is Smoke on the Water. Have you ever listened closely to the lyrics? I'm going to tell you the story behind it. Mm. So back in the days, the festival was taking place in the casino. And during one of the concerts of Frank Zappa, someone shot a flare gun and there was a big fire. So people had to run out. Fortunate, unfortunately, no one got injured. And during that fire, it happened to be that Deep Purple was staying in one of the hotels in Montreux. And they saw the smoke on the water. So they wrote the lyrics of the song. So we all came out to Montreux on Lake Geneva shoreline. So if you listen to the lyrics, it actually tells you the story of this song. So after the fire, Deep Purple gave uh, the song to the founder of the festival to say, oh, you must be sad because uh, of the casino burning down. And he listened to the song, like, oh, that's actually a very good song. You should put it on the album. And Deep Purple was like, no, no, it's just for you for memory. Unfortunately, he insisted because it's this huge hit that everyone knows today. So now every time you hear the song, smoke on the water. So you're going to think of Montreux. And we hope we can welcome you to the Montreux and to the Jazz Festival sometime soon. Is this the picture that you sent that has like torn pieces of paper and looks handwritten? Is that what it is? Yeah, these are some notes of Freddie Mercury. I'm going to share that. Can you see this? Yeah, original notes from Freddie Mercury. The process of writing a song. 
<laughs> very sophisticated. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so yeah, I'm happy Fantastic. to be here in Montreux, yeah, yeah. and I'm sure you're gonna figure find out some more about the Montreux Jazz Festival with the next video. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Karin, and give my best regard to Freddy and tell him that I will visit him <laughs> very probably tomorrow morning. So Fantastic. We will might have know. a coffee together. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Let's have Antoinette back. Shall we go to Antoinette? Yeah, sure. If, he, if she's back, with pleasure. Are Antoinette. you there, Antoinette? Yay! Yay. So, Look at the hi everybody. Antoinette speaking from Geneva, the most international city. Oh, let's see my sunglasses we have a gorgeous start day today the water fountain high rise attractive is uh, 479 feet high so we're the image of geneva of course and we are having a lovely cruise here on geneva lake the real name is lemo comes from the word lemonus that means the big water and then we would like to introduce you to a gorgeous man for him i would like to sing a special song every night i see you I feel you, <laughs> my dear Martin, you will give you some more information about the boat, the famous CGN boat. Hello, to you. everybody. Nice to have you on board the uh, CGN boat. You are, in fact, on a boat that is more than 100 years old. Uh, it's one of eight, of a total of eight uh, boats that we have. And uh, we can host up to 150 people, uh, some of them even 250 people for uh, lunch or dinner. And uh, I will walk you just around for a few minutes to show you the inside of the boat, uh, especially also the steam machine. So just follow me. Wow. Actually, actually Martin's previous name was uh, Jack Dawson. <laughs> Hi, Captain, how are you? Hello. Hi. You and you? Yeah. Hi. Um, Excellent. Welcome to board. You see the guy is very furious, huh? He's the best Straight captain, by the way. Huh? The best captain. Okay. Your name Hi, is? David. <laughs> and David. Yeah. Lovely eyes. Beautiful blue eyes at the sky today. Gorgeous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and to okay. not speak my language. Go, go. Go and show us the beautiful engine, please. Oh, that's huge. Wow. Yeah, the, the, you can, I mean, oh, you can Melissa have Beale, it. did you see that bar? <laughs> we fall down now from the upper deck, first class. And, uh, and, uh, and you can have a, actually a great party over there. Fantastic party. We only speak first class, so that's good. So look at that. <laughs> what do you think about... Having a dinner here. Yes, please. In this uh, beautiful Belle Epoque dining room. Wow. This is really the this is same actually status the as Swiss it was Britannia. Uh, when the boat was constructed. The boat is uh, was built in 1914, so it's more than 100 years old. Wow. It's really a nice uh, experience to have a dinner inside here. So there's another thing I wanted to show you which is the original steam machine. So please follow me. Yeah. We will, we are, we are on board, Martin, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that are... house. Look at that. This is original steam machine from 1914. You can see the, the year on it. And that's what we call Swiss mechanics. Still working, <laughs> 100 years later. Still working. Cool, so, wonderful. Really nice experience uh, if you take this boat to uh, see the machine moving. So, yeah. During what winter time, it? we make some maintenance in the boat, and during summer time, all the tourists can enjoy uh, traveling uh, on these boats. So, what's the what name of the It's a great Geneva, experience. Lake Geneva is the biggest lake in Switzerland. And uh, we have eight of these boats, so you can take some of these historic boats in Absolutely. Geneva or Lausanne or maybe or Montreux. So uh, there's a lot of Brilliant. different possibilities. Thank you so much, oh, Martin. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I think you have to come really on this boat because we have a lovely lady. Her name was Sissi. She lives in Pronouncia. And she used to come on a boat like this, especially on the Geneva. 
she, she appreciated so much the panorama. So I'm supposing that you are to come here also to see the beautiful panorama. Yes. Absolutely. Woo! Love it. That was so cool. So the name of the boat, is it the Savoy? Is that what I Savoy, call Savoy, yeah. Savoy. Le Savoy. Because Savoy. it's actually it's the, in uh, French. It's yeah. for you and everything. Yeah, absolutely. You have to. You have to. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, Antoinette. And Ooh, now we are you. going back to Montreux, but this time we are actually going above Montreux. Yes. Now right. the machine are moving, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we stay there, we can stay for hours and hours, no problem. So now we go actually above Montreux. Snap! And here I am, right above Montreux. Behind me, you can see Lake Geneva, and I'm surrounded by the Swiss Alp. But this is not what I wanted to show you. And follow me, you won't be disappointed. So, I'm happy to introduce you to Simon, our Hello, host everybody. today. Welcome. So welcome to the chalet of Claude Nobs. Claude Nobs is the founder of the worldwide famous jazz festival taking place in Montreux every single year, the first two weeks of July. But let me show you something that I know you will love it. I will show you the chalet afterward. Huh? I will show you the private chalet afterward. Here's the kitchen, as you can see. But what is uh, amazed me most here is look at this view wow isn't it fantastic uh -huh. lake geneva the swiss alps with the swiss flag uh -huh. and a canadian flag what was that so this is actually the chalet where all the greatest artists used to chill out after having performed on stage in Montreux. So you can imagine Hella Fitzgerald, can imagine Freddie Mercury, Prince, B.B. Uh, B. King, they all came up here to enjoy, to chill out after performing the concert down there. Isn't it, Simon? Yeah, every artist came here and we continue to have great events for music lovers, basically. And this is actually a place that you can rent for your event. And on top of that, can you see the little house behind me? This is actually a private chalet where Mrs. Shania Twain come to relax, to enjoy and write a new song and to find a little bit of peace by enjoying this beautiful view. Simon, tell us something. Yes, here is the basement and as you can see Claude was a collector collecting all kinds of stuff and here we have some instruments which are gifts for many artists. Guitar from B.B. King, Carlos Santana, Nile Rogers and also the piano is from Freddie Mercury where we record the jazz album here down in Montreal. Fantastic. Can you imagine? You can enjoy a beautiful event in this house. You can sit there. You can play the piano for the Mercury. So it's a unique, unique experience. Only if you play Bohemian Rhapsody. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, we have some records. Look at that. Look at the number of records that are stored here. Thousand. Wow. Wow. Look, so all, for music lovers, as you all these are records that has been, has been collected by Claude. And if you are not a music lover, you can always play Flipper, for example. <laughs> and to end, cherries on the cake, the Claude Master Room. Wow. Can you imagine? Oh. Wow. Waking up with such a view, oh. or even going to sleep, looking at the Lake Geneva. But this was actually the real place where Claude was working, was energizing his ideas, correct, Simon? Yeah, right. It's, uh, as you can see, it's open. There is no door, no wall, and it's really inspiring place. Simon, thank you so much. Thank you for joining Claude of Chalet, and looking forward to welcoming you. See you in a couple of seconds. Bye. Bye-bye. Wow. Wow. Wendy, I'm with you. I'll, I'll move to retire there too. Let's go. I love that the balcony is clear, so you don't have the balcony blocking you when you sit in the living room. That was beautiful. No problem at all. No problem at all. Well, I hope you can hear me well. I know that we might have some issue with the... No, you're good. You're good. It's fine. Perfect. So let me show you where I'm now. Yay. Maybe you can spot it. 
Chocolate. Chocolate. <laughs> yes. Look at look at look at this window here. Oh yeah. Oh. Uh huh. How are people not really fat in Switzerland? But they have stairs a lot. And and now I have a little surprise. Oops. Sorry. I love surprises. I'm going to um, introduce you to Laurent, our chocolate master. Oh, hello. A master of chocolate? Woo! Good job. Master of chocolate. I'm going to jump on the other side Why Laurent is introducing himself. <laughs> so, hello. Uh, here we are at Lederach. I don't know if you all know Lederach. It's a Swiss chocolate company that was founded in 1968 by Rudolf Lederach, who was a chocolate maker in Switzerland. And uh, it's still in the hand of the family, 100% in the family Lederach. And it's just all Swiss brands, so all chocolate is produced here in Switzerland. Absolutely. And now, ladies and gentlemen, look what Laurent has done for you. Oh, look at that. Yes! That's amazing! Milk chocolate and dark chocolate. Oh, my God! Oh, that's dark chocolate. That's mine, right there. Thank you. That's amazing. Oh, I feel so famous. <laughs> that was so, so cool. So you, you definitely, you absolutely need to come and visit him because uh, if we ship the chocolate right now, by by the time that is uh, reaching you, will be melted with the sort of cream. Yeah, just so, keep it in the refrigerator. We'll be right there. Yeah, absolutely. So you definitely need to join us. Yes. But should I? Or should yes. I not? You should. Oh, always, always should. <laughs> Laurent won't me make a, a tablet in front of you, a tablet oh, cool. of chocolate in front of you. Okay. Oh boy. So I'm taking the Okay. Okay. So <gasps> you have a look chocolate. At the here. You see? Willy Wonka's got nothing on this. Can I please have my faucet do that? Ready? Yes. Go? Yeah. Go fast. <gasps> okay, one, two, three, four, five. Can I is it weird to lick the spatula aloud? No. No. Correct? Yes. <laughs> oh. Is there Yay! Here? Oh my gosh. Okay, don't spill it. Or if you do lick when it off. You, when you do look, look at these. Oh yeah. Right? Take my do it, do it, do it. Ah. Yes. So good. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. And when you do these, not the, with the finger, of course, but when you when you create the chocolate, you can add all sorts of toppings: caramel nuts, M M&Ms, and uh, M's, chocolate flakes. Uh, anyway, it's fantastic. And then you can bring it home. Let let your family taste it. They will not eat any other chocolate, so they need to come back. Okay. Wow. Life-changing chocolate. I love it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no, this is exactly what you should be doing, and we would be too. Yes. <laughs> I, have the finger, I have the finger full of chocolate. I'm really sorry for you, but uh, it's, it's, a good, it's a good day. So. I'm going to be dreaming of that chocolate fountain for a while. Laura, thank you so much. We will try to keep the two chocolate for you, and I will, I will find a way to ship it somewhere. Or just send us videos of you eating it, and that's fine. He can make us a new one when we come there. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. And now I'm giving the, um, the floor to two very special people that they are located somewhere on top of a wonderful, wonderful place. And, Hello, everyone. Uh, Hello. Hello. Everyone. Welcome, we are in Lausanne again, but in another place. Uh, it's a very special place. We are actually here with Amin. Uh, we are in the Royal uh, Savoie Hotel and we are at their Sky Lounge, which is, has a great and amazing view that you can see. I'm going to turn the camera so you can see better. Wow. So here it is. Oh, it's busy there. So here you have a beautiful view on the lake and the lake and the Alps. Here, this is the garden building of the hotel. This is a new building of the hotel. 
And of course, the Royal Savoy is a part of the Bogenstock selection. We have three hotels in the Switzerland. We have uh, Fasnhof in Bern, Bergenstock Resort at the Lucerne, and of course the Royal Savoy, where you have this 360 panoramic view from the rooftop. The name is Sky Lounge. And of course, it's a fantastic view. You can see the sunset around 9, 9 p.m. But yeah. all our hotel have a very dedicated uh, private area for the, any incentive or events. Like you can see here on the garden building, we have on the top floor the penthouse, 700 square meters, but you can privatize this area for a private cocktail, dining, or lodging, any products, luxury products. Okay, and so here in the Sky Lounge, we can uh, have uh, uh, exclusive and unique uh, events, sorry. So, um, thanks to one of those events that we hosted here in uh, collaboration uh, with the Royal Savoy, we will be able with Ovation to win this beautiful prize that you can see over here, which is the uh, Site Pisa Award in 2018, uh, because of this event that was really, really uh, uh, exclusive and unique. It's a beautiful view over here. Would you wow. like to add anything? Actually, actually, it was a great experience because we had uh, yeah. uh, Michelin star chef up there and they did a wonderful dinner for, for our guests and they enjoyed it. was uh, really uh, a must. And it was wow. a fantastic experience that we share with uh, all the guests and of course uh, it was a, a very nice uh, teamwork with the ovation who will do everything to have a very nice Swiss welcome to the guest and of course to share the legend of this uh, part of the history hotel in Lake Geneva. It was very fantastic. Yes, congratulations on that award. That's amazing. Yeah. Yes, and Great. this is the place that the two-night um, stay will be when we give that away yeah. in a little bit, which is so cool. Yeah. 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 yeah, absolutely. And uh, I'm I'm sure that the person that will win this uh, beautiful package, they will be very, very glad to be at the Royal Savoy. Absolutely. Yes. Oh, we I love it. 1,500 square meters of the uh, spa for different kind of treatments. We have a pool, pool inside and outside, of course. And very nice to have this kind of things and the hotel five stars. Because uh, of course we have we are a corporate hotel, but now as you can see, we have more leisure guests coming, and of course for the corporates we have sometimes the wife or the husband come, and during the meeting they stay at the spa or spend time in our Japanese garden. We have different kind of activities we can offer to the guests to feel like a unique experience. Yes, and thank you we will to, not have any problem entertaining ourselves there. No problem. Thank you so much, Amin. Thank you. You're the most welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Enjoy, enjoy the be this beautiful sunset. And now uh, we are reaching almost the end. And I, I'd like to just uh, um, give you a very quick information about uh, something that is happening here in Veve, where I live and where I am now, every 20, 25 years. The Wine Grower Festival is an event that uh, the local people are celebrating since uh, ages now. And uh, as you can see on the screen, this was what happened last year in 2019. They built up this arena within uh, almost uh, less than one year. And the arena was containing approximately 20 to 22,000 people. They, they were watching a performance that was made uh, by locals. So all the, the, the performances are local people that they, are, they have usually work, but they, they, uh, they wanted to be part of it. And you can imagine to, to experience an opening of an Olymp Olympic game with the, all these uh, fantastic uh, scene, music, colors, and so on. So this is happening every
we had to ask authorization, specific authorization, uh, the bell, <laughs> ah. specific authorization that will allow him to put on this costume and at the same time to be here with us today. Wow, we feel so special. <laughs> Yeah, exactement. Une amie derrière euh, la caméra se déroulait à la fête des vignerons. Et deux millions de personnes ont participé. Durant plus d'un mois, le, la fête des vignerons s'est déroulée à passer ici, euh, à deux pas de où je suis actuellement. Et ce qui était incroyable, c'était l'esprit, l'esprit convivial, la fraternité qui a régné pendant un mois de festival et convivial entre tous les participants. So over 2 million people has visited the Wine Grower Festival last year. And the feeling, the, the experience, the atmosphere that, that they experience here in the area that uh, if we just uh, turn around, you can imagine an arena of 22,000 people sitting there. Wow, so, incredible. So the spirit of these uh, brotherhood, fraternity, and uh, joy to share with the local wines is still there and uh, still reach uh, people over over the world. It's a great pleasure for me to discover this region, because the visitors who have the chance to come here will discover at their convenience everything there is in this region in terms of territory, of patrimony, of culture, of tradition, and also all our secrets. Okay, so he was saying, so all travelers t traveling in this area will have the possibility to discover the unlimited options that this area and Switzerland generally is offering while sipping the local wines and uh, trying the local uh, culture, local um, tradition. Wow. Wow. And he looked forward to welcome you and your guests here to Veve and in Switzerland. And uh, he looked forward to really to welcome to welcome you. So uh, we know I know that we are a little bit late, but Stefan is going to actually do the raffle. Oh boy! Put Yay. All, all the names. Oh my goodness! There. So. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> okay, let me. Uh. So, the lucky winner. Are you ready? Yes. Ready. So it's uh, you know it's two. Oops. It's two nights at the Royal Savoy. Is a uh, transportation from Geneva Airport is a two complimentary first class pass on the Swiss train for one day, entry at the Olympic Museum, two entry at the Chion Castle, chocolate tasting, entry at the Chaplin's World. So the lucky winner is Diane Wallace. Diane, are you on? Diane's still on. Is she that here? Is so awesome. I'm so excited. Here she is. Oh, there she is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I love Geneva, I love Switzerland, I love France, I love all of it. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, we are very, very glad, very happy, and we look forward to welcome you back into our region. I look forward oh. to being there. Cool. Yay. Thank you all so, so much. This was absolutely incredible. Oh my gosh, I like have goosebumps, I cried, we saw a rainbow, our first zoom on a roller coaster on a mountain. I mean, this is the special privilege with Commander in Chief. This is just, ah, my head's ready to explode. My cheeks hurt from smiling. <laughs> <laughs> so from all, all, all the, the, the people that has participated to this session, and for the all partners from Switzerland, thank you so much for taking the time and for allowing us to share with you a little bit of our passion for our country. And uh, please, please, please do not forget to come to Switzerland when you will be able to travel again. Yes. Absolutely. 
Thank you so much, Renato. Thank you for everyone on the Ovation team. You guys were spectacular. This was really an incredible hour. I feel like I was there. I cannot wait to see everyone again on our next trip. So thank you all. And we will catch you next Friday. Yes. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye.